I am Jennifer Robinson. I work at Oxford Middle School. I teach mindfulness and meditation, um, helping kids just stay calm. I came to this in a very different way. I don't have a degree in education. Um, I fell into this position because I got sick. Ironically, probably five or six months prior, I was introduced to Dr. Robin. And when I was introduced to her, she came up to me and asked me if I had a tribe. Very random, had no idea why she was asking me. I guess she kind of knew something I didn't know, um, that I needed to get things in order. I was diagnosed with cancer and Lyme disease um, in March of that year. And I was a person who ran 90 miles an hour, 90 hours a week, and um, I had to get still and quiet. Um, in the quiet stillness and the pain of my disease, I found something that I could control, and that was my mind and body to be quiet. And I didn't get it at first. The first time I learned about meditation, I thought about what I needed to buy at Costco. Um, the second time, I cried the entire time because I was in pain. But the third time and the fourth time, I didn't think about how sick I was for maybe five minutes. But I just tried to give myself that moment. And then five minutes turned into 30, and 30 turned into two hours. And pretty soon, I was on a wellness journey instead of a sick journey. So once I got some of my health back, I applied at a middle school and I started seeing all these children in the nurse's office who were stressed out and anxious big time. And so I asked the principal if I could start working with them and teaching them maybe some quiet time or meditation techniques. When people hear about mindfulness or meditation, it feels overwhelming. Um, it seems like, oh my gosh, it's another thing on the to-do list. It's not that, it's actually the absence of doing. It is being and, and participating in just where you are. So what I do with a lot of kids and adults is I tell them to take off their shoes, to sit in the chair, feel your feet on the ground, and just close your eyes and go to a happy place and move forward and look for the happy or the joy in the everyday. But I fell into it because I got really sick. So it was a gift. I don't want to do it again, <laughs> but it really was life-changing for me. It really was.